Good morning, Lord's Hand Academy. I hope everyone is doing well because today we are here for the weekly devotion and flag raising ceremony. May I request everyone to please bow their heads to feel the presence of the Lord through an invocation to be led to us by Mr. Hector Colera. Nakilang Diyos, amang banal na nasa langit. Lord, maraming maraming salamat po sa magdamag na kapahingahang pagbabantay na muli ipinagkaloob nyo sa panibagong umaga, panibagong kalakasan. At hiniling po namin ang iyong gabay, ang iyong presensya sa araw na ito, araw po ng lunes. Kami po'y magkakaroon ng flag ceremony, kami po'y magkakaroon ng devotion. Pagpalaan nyo po ang iyong salita na maihahayag, Panginoon. Gamitin nyo po si Pastor Mark at inihiling namin, Lord Ama, Holy Spirit. Spirit, uh, gabayan nyo po ang bawat mag-aaral, Panginoon, na uh, bigyan nyo ng maayos na pagtanggap mula po sa sal- uh, salita ninyo na naririnig at tulungan nyo po ang bawat isa na maisa pamuhay po namin sa pang-araw-araw naming pamumuhay ang uh, salita nyo na aming naririnig, Panginoon. Muli, uh, kayo po ang may taas sa gagawin namin sa umagang ito at ano may ang karumihan na ikita nyo sa aming puso't kaisipan, pangalinisin nyo po kami, ito ang aming dalangin sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. Thank you very much, Sir Hector. And now, kindly prepare your Bible for our Monday devotion, which will be administered by Reverend Pastor Mark Joseph Cordero. Okay, good morning. Uh, welcome to our devotion this week. And I uh, hope you have your Bible ready. If you would please join me and open it with me in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 20. 1 Samuel chapter 20 at ang patuloy natin pinag-aaralan for this month is about kindness o ang kabaitan. And uh, would you please read it with me in chapter verses 13 to 16. 1 Samuel chapter 20 and verses 13 to 16. The Bible says, The Lord do so and much more to Jonathan, but if it please my father to do the evil, then I will show thee and send thee away that thou mayest go in peace and the Lord be with thee, as he hath been with my father. And thou shalt not only a while, yet I will show me kindness of the Lord that I die not. But also thou shalt not cut off the kindness from my house forever. No, not when the Lord shall have cut off the enemies of David, everyone from the face of the earth. So Jonathan made a covenant of the house of David, saying, let the Lord require it at the hand of David's enemies. So let's pray. Dear God and Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for this time that you've given us. Thank you, Lord, for the time that we can learn from your word. And I pray that you would open our, help us, Lord, to open our ears and open our hearts that we may apply it to our lives. Bless us, O Lord, and guide us. In Christ's name we pray. Amen and amen. So this month and also this week, we are continuing about kindness. And uh, this story is quite uh, familiar for each and everyone. Alam naman natin that in the Bible, there is King David. But before he was king, ay siya po ay naging uh, shepherd boy. And he became an armor bearer. And also he became a, 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 a nagpiplay ng instrument para sa isang hari ng Israel. And King Saul was his name. Now, King Saul... At, the, at, at this time, he was very jealous at David. And David was gaining popularity in the kingdom. He was gaining popularity with the many battles that he has won. So this king or King Saul started to become jealous. And it started to destroy him. And it started to make him, make him to be a bad, bad king. Now, students... As you can see, we have read about a man that showed kindness to the time that David ay uh, nangangailangan. And his name is Jonathan. Now, in the verse that we have read, we could see there that there was a time na nagtatago na si David because King Saul was already trying to get rid of David. So they made a plan na sila ay mawawarningan si David that if David show up, ay kanyang uh, kung may, may gagawin sila. And if David saw this plan that it is it was for his life, that David will run away 
and move to another place and hide himself. So what happened is, is King Saul eventually showed his true intentions for David and Jonathan showed kindness. Ang kabaitan. Alam niyo ba, students, it doesn't matter, like when we studied about Rahab, it doesn't matter what kind of you or place in life was, just do what is good. And at this time, he did what is good in the sight of God, and eventually, alam niyo ba, sinunod niya yung tama, at ginawa niya yung tama, at pinagpala siya ng Diyos. Alam niyo ba, students, have you heard of the saying, what you sow, you will reap? So when Jonathan showed kindness to David, ay sa kinalaunan ng buhay ni Jonathan, eventually he he died in a battle, but alam niyo, hindi nagtapos yung kabaitan na ipinakita niya kay King David. In 2 Samuel chapter 9, verse 13, in 9, 1 to 13, may makikita natin, there was a man named Mephibosheth. Now, Mephibosheth was a son of Jonathan. Even though King David at this time was already, uh, he has already been uh, anointed and proclaimed as king, ay hindi niya nakalimutan yung kabaitan ni Jonathan. And where did he show it? Ay pinakita niya to sa, naki, sa isang anak ni, king, ni Jonathan, which is Mephibosheth. You could read it later and we could see there, sabi nga in verse chapter 9, 9 in verse 1 in 2 Samuel, Is there any that is left in the house of Saul that I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake? Now students, Alam niyo yung kabaitan, nagre-reward ang Diyos. And like I said, the Bible is very clear of this principle. What you sow, and that is that you will reap. Kung anong itinanim mo, siya rin mong aanihin. I pray that at this time, ang kindness o ang kabaitan ay lagi nating i-show. You'll never know. You'll never know what it will return to us. So would you please join me in prayer? Our dear God and loving Father, thank you for this time. Thank you for what we have learned. The kindness of Jonathan through David and eventually King David through the son of Jonathan. I pray, Lord, that we will not be uh, constrained and help us, O oh Lord, to show kindness in any way that we can. Bless us, O oh Lord. Bless us this week. Protect us, O oh Lord, for the, the things that we will do. I pray that you be with each and every students, be with each and every teachers and our parents as well. Protect us, O Lord, and guide us. In Christ's name we pray. Amen and amen. Now, students, have a wonderful week. Always pray and stay safe. And God bless. Thank you very much. As Filipinos, to signify our unity as a nation, let us all stand proudly and sing loudly from the heart our Philippine National Anthem to be conducted by Miss Angelica Khalid which will be followed immediately by our pledge of loyalty to the Philippine flag, Kimberly Stokov to lead the Panata Makabayan, and Trish Chloe Mata to lead the Panunumpa ng Katapatan sa Watawa.
Susundin ko ang tuntunin ng paaralan. Tutuparin ko ang tungkulin ng mamamayang makabayan. Naglilingkod, nag-aaral, nagdarasal ng buong katapatan. Iaalay ko ang aking buhay, pangarap, pagsisikap sa bansang Pilipinas. Itaas ang kanang kamay at sumabay sa akin. Panunumpa ng katapatan sa watawan. Ako ay Pilipino. Buong katapatan nanunumpa sa watawan ng Pilipinas at sa bansang kanyang sinasagisag na may dangal, katarungan at kalayaan na ipinakikilos ng sambayan ng makajos, makatao, makakalikasan at makabansa. To signify our commitment to our beloved alma mater, let us all sing the Larson Academy hymn, Miss Leia Q. Morales, Kentucky. It seems like everyone looks sleepy, so to make everyone ready for the whole week battle, may I request everyone again to please stand and let us all follow the steps of our dear teacher Charlene for this week's Energizer. God made 
made me, he made everything. God loves me, he can do anything. If I run over here, if I run over there, God is everywhere, and he loves me. When I look up, 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 I know he's real. When I look down, 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 I believe what I found. When I look in God's word and I search for Me, he can do anything. If I run over here, if I run over there, God is everywhere, and He loves me. When I look up, 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 I know He's real. When I look down, 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 I believe what I found. When I look in God's word and I search for Him, He rewards me. Cause He loves me. When I look up, 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 I know He's real. When I look down, 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 I believe what I found. When I look in God's Word and I search for Him, He rewards me. Cause He loves me. Cause He loves me. Cause He loves me. Please be guided with the following schedules. On January 20 and 21, 2021, Wednesday and Thursday, that is our second periodic examination all levels. Test questionnaires for grades 4 to 12 will be sent to the Google Classroom 9 minutes before the scheduled time. On January 30, 2021, that is Saturday, that is our second quarter Parents Teachers Association virtual meeting. Schedule will be the following. Kinder 1 up to grade 3 will be at 8 a.m. onwards. For grades 4 to 12 will be at 1 p.m. onwards. On February 6, 2021, Saturday, that is our second quarter card day. For Kinder 1 up to grade 3, 7 a.m. up to 11 a.m. For grades 4 to 12, it will be at 12 noon up to 4 p.m. Please remind your parents that they will be accommodated one at a time and will be given five minutes for us to discuss your academic performance. Remind them also to please observe the following. No face mask and face shield, no entry. Observe physical and social distancing and sanitize their hands with alcohol and please remind them to follow strictly the school safety protocols to ensure everyone's safety. Once again, thank you very much and God bless us all. Maraming salamat Lord God sa natapos naming devotion, sa natapos naming flag ceremony. Maraming salamat po sa salita niyo Panginoon na naihayag, na ginamit niyo po si Pastor Mark. Uh, hiniling namin Panginoon ang iyong pag-iingat, pag sa isang buong linggong pag-aaral, ng bawat mag-aaral. Kayo po ang magkaloob sa kanila ng sapat na katalinuan, sapat na kalakasan Panginoon. Ganun din po sa bawat kaguroan, sa pamunuan ng Lord's Academy, sa aming directress sa aming uh, presidente uh, hiniling namin Panginoon na uh, uh, pagkaluban nyo rin po ng kalakasan ng bawat magulang na mag-aaral at uh, ilayo nyo po sa kapamakan ingatan nyo po sa kanilang pagkatrabaho kayo po mag-provide ng kanilang pangangailangan at iniingi po namin Panginoon ang iyong patuloy na gabay at pag-iingat sa buhay ng mas amin Panginoon dinadalangin ang patuloy na uh, kasalukuyang sitwasyon ng mundo kayo po ang patuloy na mag-control ano mang karamihan Lord ang nakikita niyo sa aming puso't kaisipan makalinisin niyo po kami itong aming dalangin sa pangalan ni Jesus Amen Thank you very much once again for your active participation to our weekly devotion and virtual flight ceremony Good luck for this week's activity. Keep safe and may God bless us all. Once again, my name is Teacher Jesse saying goodbye for today. See you again next week. And please don't forget that no matter how hard is the beginning, if one will struggle, he could reach the sun. Bye.